If I'm understanding the open-closed principle of the solid principles correctly, then I think in extension or in its extremest form, it's saying that you should never have to rewrite any of your code. You should only write new code. You should never rewrite your existing code. You should only add new code to your code base. This is of course a kind of profound statement and I understand that it seems unreasonable. But I assume that you also see that if you were able to do that, then it would be easier to avoid bugs in your code, to avoid problems that evolve over time. For example, you would never run the risk of changing a particular piece of code, thinking that it's not used somewhere else and realizing that it's actually used somewhere else and then breaking that piece. So I've been thinking a lot about this lately. I mean, how could you possibly never have to rewrite code? So let's talk about this beyond the open closed principle. Let's say that what we're trying to avoid is rewriting code. So let's say that the actions that we can do is that we can add new code, right? We can add new classes and modules, but we can also delete code. We can also delete classes and modules. This means that if you want to change something, you have to delete the old one and insert a new one. And we're not talking about chunks of code, right? Because again, chunks of code is risky. I think it becomes easier to think about if you think about dependency injection. This is possible through dependency injection. So instead of writing, for example, uh, large monolithic classes, and instead of instantiating your dependencies within a module, right? Instead of a particular module or class having to know about its dependencies, it instead takes parameters of types, where the types could be duct types, right? It instead takes parameters of types that perform particular roles. This means that if you need a new thing to play the role, you simply instantiate a new thing and inject that new thing into uh, wherever you were using the old thing. And this is the key to understanding how we stop rewriting code and instead only write new code. So if you think about it, it probably makes a lot of sense. If you have a sorting method, for example, instead of hard coding a particular sorting algorithm in that sorting method, you instead, in a functional language, you take a function or in an object-oriented language, perhaps you take an object that plays a strategy role. You take a strategy object that has a sorting algorithm that uses a particular sorting algorithm. If you do that instead, then you can simply, if you want to change your mind later to a different sorting algorithm, you can simply inject another object, a different object that utilizes a different sorting strategy. Which means that at the point where you want to change your mind, where you want to change from one sorting algorithm to another one, then you won't actually have to rewrite code. You simply have to create a new sorting uh, class and then inject that member instead. But if you're paying close attention, you would of course quickly realize that when I say inject the new one instead, that of course has to become a rewrite, right? Because yes, you create the new member that you want to use, but at some point you have to put that new member into the existing system, right? Into the existing object graph. And then it has to turn into a rewrite, or no? What's interesting is that even then you can avoid a rewrite by simply rewriting upwards, rewriting whoever was using that thing. So if you think about it, at the point where you are in fact instantiating a thing that you are injecting somewhere, at that point, that is also something, right? That is also an object. That is also part of some kind of class. If that isn't injected, right? If that's injected, you just move up, up, up the chain. But if that isn't injected, then you have to rewrite that, right? But again, the, the rule says don't rewrite, write a new one, right? So you write a new one of that, of whatever that is, right? You write a new one of that and then inject that to whoever was using that, right? So, so, so it's, it's kind of a question of dependency injection into madness. Like, I've tried this out for some time now. It's entirely possible. It's completely possible. When you want to change something, right? You simply write a new member find out where you need to inject that new member, inject that new member. And yes, then I would pragmatically say, like if, if that rewrite doesn't cause, if I'm sure that that doesn't cause any uh, interoperability conflicts, right? Any conflicts with other pieces of code, then I would simply rewrite that. But if I can't rewrite that, then I would definitely go up the chain and say, okay, let me write a new one of these things who are using the thing I just wrote a new thing for, right? 
let me write a new one of these as well, and then upwards, let me write a new one for that, and let me write a new one for that, etc, etc, etc. Until you have sort of a new main wrapper for your application, right? But at some point you can probably stop and say, okay, pragmatically I have enough control of this piece, so I don't need to rewrite upwards, I can just rewrite here, right? But that would be a significantly safer rewrite than rewriting the small pieces down in the application. So to sum up, I think, I think, it's entirely possible to avoid rewrites altogether. You can simply get along with only writing new code and deleting old code. And then I don't mean as in deleting a chunk of code, I mean as in writing a new module or class and deleting another module or class. That's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If this was super confusing by the way, please let me know in the comments so we'll dig further into this.